everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and I am here today with some really cool merchandise from none other than Distracted by Diamonds. I know, did you think I was done with the Christmas shirts? I'm not done with the Christmas shirts at all. I have more. This is what it's, you know, become uh, being an administrator and teacher in the school district for 30 years. You just collect them. So, uh, you know, hope they're a little bit entertaining. But anyway, let's head into the painter's place and I'll show you some great gift ideas that you can order right now and have in time for great gifts that are not that expensive from Distracted by Diamonds. Let's head in and I'll show you what I got. See you in there. Right, we are back in the painter's place. Before I show you what I got from Distracted by Diamonds, I wanted to show you my progress on this one. This is a diamond art club. It is Guardians of the Lake, and it was it was just a sleeper one that has turned out so beautifully. Um, this was one that my kids wanted. I am doing this one for them for Christmas. Don't worry, they never watch my channel. They will never see this in a million years. Um, but I just thought this rendering turned out so beautifully and I wanted you guys to see it. Um, I have not changed a thing about this painting. It has ABs, it has fairy dust, and I just feel like they have placed them so well. I love the geese. Can they see the whole thing? I love how the geese rendered the dogs waiting. Um, we had a yellow lab and a golden retriever that have both passed away and, my boys just love this image. They are hunters, so um, and I love Canadian geese, so um, it, this is just a beautiful image. Let me kind of take you, move it up. It's a big one, but it's lots of multi-placing, so um, it's been so much fun to do all the AVs and fairy dust in the windows of this house. I love how this rendering, you can see where the roof looks like it's coming out from uh, the house or the cabin. Um, and again, that's just the rendering from DAC. Um, the lighter spots in the trees at the top uh, are fairy dust in here, which just adds contrast and depth to these trees. I love the geese flying in the V formation at the top. I just, I love this image so much. And I, I, I've just had a lot of fun working on it. It's worked up very quickly. Um, and uh, I just have this one little section left to do. So I'm really excited. I will definitely have this ready in the next couple of days uh, to uh, give to my boys for Christmas. Um, they begged me to get this one and I was like, oh, it's dogs and geese. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I have loved every minute of working on this. The drills have fit together beautifully. And um, Again, the rendering is just perfection. So I just wanted to share that with you. That's uh, the main thing that I was working on several projects, but I've stopped everything to work on this one. So that's what I'm working on. Very proud of it. And I think the boys will love it. All right, but let's get into, okay, we're into December. December has snuck up on me like every other month has snuck up on me. Um, you know, when you retire, just, you don't even know what day of the week it is. So, um, it's easy for that to happen. But, um, Robin, uh, sent me this to share with you. I love this idea. It would make an amazing Christmas gift that you could order today and have done by Christmas. It's not that big, but it's a unique and beautiful Christmas gift. Um, she does have a video. I will link the video below. Um, before I put this out, but um, she does have a video on how to put it together um, because some people were wondering how to do that. If I can get it out of the package, it would be nice. And she has, she always sends me such cool goodies. Okay, this is stuck. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry if you have to watch me ride this struggle bus. I normally don't do this. Okay, you know what? We're just going to destroy this package. I do not like to struggle in these videos. Wow. Okay, she has sent me so many extra goodies. Oh, my gosh. Stickers to put on containers. What is all this, Robin? You're in trouble. You're in big trouble. She was only supposed to send me this. She let me pick out the design I wanted. Ooh, and it smells good. She must have patty wax in here. First of all, she has sent me... I love that these are in the shape of hearts. These are all... Um, you can number your containers. 
Um, also, wow, this is a big pack of stickers. I know she's got these on her site if you would like them. Hang on. How do I get it open? There we go. Struggling with the plastic a little bit. All right. So you can number your containers a variety of ways. And she, uh, this pack allows you to number them um, any way that you want. So she's got hearts up to the number from one to the number 99. If you just numerically number your containers like I do, if you would like to, I love this feature as well. If you would like to, she's got B5200 blank at crew, which I found out at crew was the non dyed floss from DMC. So they named that particular drill color at crew, but she's got all the DMC numbers also. And I love the fact that these are in the color of the drills. You don't know how many times this has saved me. I get in the zone diamond painting and you know 341 i know that's got to be a light purple or a light blue so if i pick up a red and you know i'm trying to put it down on 341 i'm gonna know that that's not the right color so i love that these are all in you know the shades of colors of the dmc numbers she's got them i mean she's got them all so this is a great um great little kit sometimes your special drills projects um each of the special drills the symbols are letters so she has letter hearts from A to Z. So that's, I love this set. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Robin. I wasn't expecting that. That's amazing. Ho, ho, ho. What has she done? I smell something really good in here. I haven't even read her note yet. She always, you know, Robin and I, Pro I've known Robin probably longer than I've known most people on YouTube. My intro and outro music, you know, that then, then, and that's her. She helped me with that. She believed in me when I started my channel and has been such an amazing person and friend. And I am forever in her debt and I will sing her praises to the mountaintops. Ugly sweater weather patty wax. Oh, this smells just like Christmas. Um, Lots of, gosh, it smells like so many different things. I can't even describe it, but I do use, this is regular patty wax that comes in a variety of scents. She's got a variety of scents, uh, especially Christmas scents right now on her, um, on her Etsy shop. I will link her Etsy shop down below as well. Um, I use patty wax in my multi-placer every single time. Um, the top has really pretty, um, little decorations in it, but I scrape from the bottom and um, love my patty wax. I can't get enough of it, but this, ah, oh, sweater weather. I can't even describe what it smells like, but it smells really good. Got some candy and I got this. This is cool. It's a butterfly and it's got one, two, three, four, five different um, places where you can put drills. This would be awesome for confetti. I wasn't expecting this at all. So when you pull it out, you've got, I love this. You've got a couple of things that really make your diamond painting uh, a lot easier. You have, oh, this is cool. Okay, so you've got a little scooper so you can scoop out your drills to put in your different containers. You've got a brush. And as you can see in this butterfly, these are the areas where your drills, uh, you can pour them out. Um, but if you get drills stuck, this little brush helps kind of guide them along. Oh my gosh. And then in this bag, I love this. They're stoppers. I'll pull one out. You don't need to see a demo on all five and be here for nine hours. But each, um, she's got stoppers for each of the little areas in the butterfly. Look, and it's another butterfly. And so that helps your drills from falling out when you're using them. But you can put five different, if you're working with confetti, this is perfect. And it's a butterfly. I love it. So all these little stoppers go in the holes. There's one here and two here and two on the other side. Great, great little gadget. I will definitely be using that because I got a couple of whips right now that are uh, very confetti heavy. So thank you, Robin. I love this. Again, she's always sending goodies. She's amazing. Um, if you haven't checked out her shop, go check it out. And I'm spilling stickers on the floor. All kinds of stuff going on here. So uh, she knows I love sunflowers. So what does she do? She sends a couple of sunflowers. 
and a pie for fall, which is wonderful. It says, hi there, friend. Okay, this is a tray. Um, and she says, if you click on the Etsy listing, which I will, I will link uh, and look in the description, she has a link to a video with detailed assembly instructions for these trays. Um, <laughs> she's also sending me one of her, excuse my French, big ass butterfly trays. She got the name from me calling a tray big ass. Um, five sections, and I like it because each section has a hole for evacuation. Um, in her shop, she has three colors, pink, purple, and blue on the butterfly. And each tray comes with a DMC number labeling sticker sheet for your drills. So um, like the example that I showed you. So that's really nice. So if you order one of those butterfly trays, not only will it deal with confetti, but you got stickers. But this is what she sent to me to share with you. And this would really make a unique uh, Christmas gift and it wouldn't take you that long to do. Yes, you do have to assemble it because when you diamond paint a special uh, special shape, special drills project, which I'm not sure that this is, but you want it flat so you can diamond paint it. So let's see what all comes in this. Um, you've got your drills. It does, uh, they do appear to be regular drills, which is nice. Um, you know, this, this is a project that the person can have out the entire year. It is on wood. And again, she does have um, instructions on how to assemble this. I'm not gonna take this out of the packaging, but um, you do have to screw some screws in to get the tray together. But look at this beautiful design. I love this. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is on wood. You peel the plastic back and diamond paint just like you normally would. She does have a key, <clears throat> excuse me, in here. And like I said, on some of these um, special projects, here, I'll lay it flat so you can see it better. On these special projects, uh, the symbols are numbered one through eight. I love this. One is one, two is two, three is three, so it's not confusing. And then when you get to nine, it's letters. So you could actually use the labels that she sent that I showed you to label your containers, 21 colors, um, no ABs, but you wouldn't need them for this because this is such a classic look for a serving tray. I'm going to show you, can you get them up close to this picture? This is what the serving tray looks like when you assemble it. I'm not going to take all the parts out of it, but this would be a wonderful, wonderful gift for, um, for anyone actually. And she's got several designs in her shop with this tray and um, now I will tell you this, any special shape, special projects, this is a special project, obviously it's on wood and not a canvas, but um, you know, again, you peel back the plastic and the, this part is sticky so you can stick the drills down. But any type of project like this, especially one where you're gonna use it, I recommend sealing it. I know there's debate out there on sealing, not sealing, I seal every single one of my special projects just because if it's, especially if it's going to be used, um, you know, you could use this to serve coffee, what have you, display, um, coasters, any of the things um, that I'm going to show you today. Um, she does have a sealer on her shop um, for, it's a diamond painting sealer. It does not dull the shine on the diamonds at all. I have used it several times and it works like a charm. So, Thank you, Robin, for this tray. So this is a small enough piece where you could get it in the next few days and have a beautiful gift for somebody that's not going to be um, too expensive. Um, these special projects she's got on her site are not expensive at all. This would make a beautiful gift. I'm thinking of several people I could give this to, but I'm not. I'm keeping it because I love sunflowers. And it's not too big to where someone could display it in a kitchen or a bathroom or, or what have you. So beautiful, beautiful piece. I love it. Oh, can't wait to do that. That's going to be, that's a new one. I've never done a tray as a special project. So let me put this back in the box and we shall go on because this is actually why Robin is in trouble. Robin is in trouble because I knew she was sending this for me to show. 
And I was all good with it. Oh, okay, so here are the steps. I'm sorry, you do get a toolkit with it. I failed to share that with you, but you do. And she does have written instructions, but there is also a video on this listing on her Etsy shop, so you can watch the demo of, of how to put it together. Not, it's not too, it's not too complicated. So, um, so I was expecting that, but then I get a message from her that says, did you get a box? And I said, I don't, the, and I was thinking, oh, it's the sunflower tray. Oh no, she sent me this box of goodies and Again, I, I love Robin. We are dear friends. Um, she spoils me rotten. So I got this box of special projects that she does have on her shop as well. Um, she said, I put this package together for you. As of this afternoon, these are available on my shop. Um, so she just... Uh, <laughs> uh, so anyway, she uh, sent more stickers. I love it. Love these stickers. I have some candy, so, uh, oh, <gasps> that's not for me, that's for Marlon. Marlon. Uh -huh. Yeah, she doesn't forget Marlon either. And look at this. Uh, um, yes, okay, he's all excited about his candy. It is a tablet. I love this. I use these. They're so cute. Just a little tablet in a, in a holder. Um and I get more patty wax. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love it. These are available on her site. Oh, I love these tins. I remember, okay, I'm I'm old school enough where I remember when these tins came out the first time. They were mermaids. Okay, you're popping that candy all over the place. They were mermaids, and she's come out with so many tins um, since then. But this is the super sticky patty wax. Honey, honey, <laughs> says scrape your single placer tip across the surface to load. So this is super sticky patty wax. This goes in your single placer. This is regular patty wax in the bars. That smells so good. This is huckleberry harvest. Oh, I love that. That smells wonderful. Again, it's got the beautiful um, goodies on the top so you scrape from the bottom this goes in your multi-placer super sticky goes in your single placer i love this it's a nutcracker thank and you the lollipop so lollipop goes in my mouth okay oh my gosh robin do you see the monster you've created my goodness okay so what did we get oh also <laughs> It says it's Tic Tacs and it says naughty or nice. Lumps of coal, sour cherry. Ooh, I love Tic Tacs. So thank you, Robin. Marlon's naughty. No, he's he's really nice. I swear. He puts up with my craziness. So we'll put Marlon on the nice list. Maybe I'm on the naughty list for all the money I spent on diamond. Notice made stuff. the wrapper is off of the lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder where that's going. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Oh my gosh, Robin, you're spoiling me so many things in this box. Okay. What does this note say? Lots of notes, lots of notes. Oh, okay. So this is directions for the border sticker. We'll start with the border sticker first. Any of these would make amazing Christmas gifts um, that are not that expensive. Um, I've seen one of them, and one of them I could do as package tags, or um, I, I'm thinking of using that one in uh, some of my DIYs. So um, this is a sticker, and it says for best results, uh, place sticker on a non-porous flat surface like a window or a mirror. So I love this. Um, I don't know if this is the same type that I got when I opened the special projects from her the last time, but we're going to see. All right, this is definitely special shapes, special drills. We got a tool, basic toolkit that comes with it. I am going to use my Melly machete because this is taped. There we go. I'm going to unroll this. Okay. Ooh, I already love it. I already love it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. It is a, a border sticker. Oh my gosh. Okay. I could see this again going on a special project. And you know what I'm doing? I am un. 
Okay, I got a long wingspan, but this is really long. But look at that beautiful image. I love it. I could see this going on so many things. I could actually, you know what I'd probably do with this. I'm already thinking because I'm a DIYer. I would get a two by four. I would measure the length of this and get it a little bit longer and a little bit wider than the sticker. I would farmhouse it up. I would do some dry brushing and then uh, let the paint dry, diamond paint this and put it on the board. And then you've got a lovely centerpiece for your table. You could put it, um, I would put it on, I would definitely put it on a piece of wood in a window. That is beautiful. I love the colors. Um, okay, well, it's rolling up <laughs> very nicely. Okay, and I think, all right, it is, it is sticking. It is sticking. I think I've done something wrong here, guys. Hang on. Hang on, I'm unsticking it. I am unsticking it. Okay, I think I unrolled. Yes, I did. Okay, I un... <laughs> okay, guys, you know what? You never know what you get in a video with me. Uh, Marlon, can you hold this end for me? I'm I'm struggling here. I've got my lollipop. Uh, okay. No, <laughs> hold the end. You don't get a choice here. All right. What I did was I unrolled... When I, when I unrolled it, I unrolled the cover paper. And now... The, okay. We're going to stick <laughs> this cover paper back on the sticker so we don't lose it. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, I am such a mess. I am such a mess. Give me a moment. We have to stick the cover paper back down. Okay, really? <laughs> you know what? We are back. We got the cover paper back on. It just was a two-man job. I think when I unrolled it, I unrolled the paper. But it's back on the sticker. Um, these are the drills. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to take all of them out, but they are crystals. They are pearls, um, and they all will go on that beautiful sticker. But I think that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to buy a wooden board that's a little bit wider and a little bit longer than that sticker and dry brush it, farmhouse it up, and then put the sticker down on it when I'm done diamond painting. And that will be a beautiful centerpiece on my dining room table. What else did Robin send? Hopefully I won't mess anything else up. We shall see though, the day is young. The day is young. This is what I thought would be so cute for uh, package tags. Look at these high heels. I love these. They are uh, double-sided. No, they're single-sided. I'm sorry. They're single-sided. You could use them as package tags. You could use them in a DIY. I love these. I think um, what I'm going to do with these, let me set them all out. And they are, yes, they are single-sided. So you don't drill both sides. You just drill one side. Okay, are you going to be able... Let's see. All right, so they're all different ladies high heels. I could see this also, I'm sorry, I'm so project oriented. I could see this going on something as well and being put in a powder room just, just for fun. But um, so you diamond paint, these are covered with the plastic. I don't wanna lose the plastic on any of them. You peel the plastic off of them. And then these are, the acrylic is sticky with the symbols and you put your drills down. You do get um, a basic toolkit, but in this toolkit, there is hardware to make these um, a keychain, if you would like to. So yeah, you just attach, actually, you have those nice attachments and you have, let me get out a ball bearing deal. Oh, come on, ball bearings. Where are you? I am definitely on the struggle bus today. Okay, so you take the uh, ball bearing hardware, put it through here, and then um, there are holes in the tops of these, and you can... Okay, seriously? What is wrong with me today? I don't know. Put the ball bearing through, and then attach it, and then it becomes a key ring. Or if you would like to, um, you can make this a present topper and then the person can take it off and use it as a key ring. So that's always very, very nice. But again, if you want to, since these are, I love this because um, sometimes these projects are double-sided and if they're double-sided, you can't do it 
obviously as easily or you um you waste um you waste the other side um but you could attach these to something and make it a really cute uh, little DIY project you know get a little frame you know from the dollar store and do something with them so those are adorable these are individually bagged look at those beautiful colors that go in those heels i'm not going to get them out and go through every single one but those are beautiful you get eight of them i did see these on her site um, just yesterday when i was looking so that would be so fun and though they're not christmas themed um you know you, you could still use them uh to attach to packages because you know it's not Christmas all year long, and these could be used all year long as a key ring or, like I said, a little DIY project. So that is super fun. Love those. Again, these are just fun gift ideas, um, especially the high heels. I don't know why, why I have a thing with high heels, I guess, because I can't wear them because I'm six feet tall. Um, but these are adorable. Love these. Okay, what else did we get? What else did we get? Oh, I think these are coasters yes they are i love the coasters love 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 the coasters what kind of coasters do we have she has coasters in her shop i did see some yesterday as well uh, but go check them out these again these are great projects that you can do and they're not expensive and people appreciate them these i love their animal print Look at this, animal print coasters. They are adorable. You could definitely get these done by Christmas and give someone a set of these that they can use all year long. How many coasters do you get? I'm curious, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coasters. And uh, you do have cork bottoms to them, so you peel the backing off and stick them on the bottom. So um, if your drink has condensation, that will help. Now, when you peel the plastic, you know, uh, this is like every other special uh, shape, special drills project. You, you peel the plastic back and stick your drills down. You do need to seal these, okay? Again, I always say on special projects, seal them. And you can get... Um, diamond painting sealer on distracted by diamond site i love it that's what i use um i used to use mod podge super shiny but now i just use uh robin sealer i really really like it and here are the drills lots of uh, there's some uh black obviously but you got some ambers and some gold silvers so a lot of uh neutral really pretty colors and there are a lot of animal print lovers out there and that would make a great little gift to give to somebody, you know, you're going to a Christmas party, a hostess gift and whatnot. And it comes with the holder for the coasters, which I think is very nice. So that's another gift idea. Robin, you spoil me. You spoil me. I can't wait to do this. And as, as with all of these um, special projects, you do get a basic toolkit, which has everything you need, the pen, the tray, and the wax. So that goes in here with that, if I can get it in. I'll fight with that later. And the final thing I want to show you, this is kind of wrapped up, I'm not quite sure. Oh, oh, I love these and I need another one of these because I'm running out of space for my pens. Is anyone else in the group a pen collector? I have collected so many diamond painting pens that I'm running out of space. This will be perfect for that. I have I have done one of these before and they turn out great. Now, if I can only open it, that would be helpful. Well, you know what? More than one way to skin a cat. So actually this, oh wow, love this. This is already put together for me. Um, is there any more hardware? I don't see any more. She put this together. If yours comes disassembled, believe me, you can do this. I have done this myself. Um, 
Um, I wonder where my pen holder is. I'm not seeing it. Oh, well, I won't search for it. But I have done a pen holder like this. You set it up when you're done. It lays perfectly flat for you to peel this plastic back and put your drills down on. But look at the squirrel! And you can see lots of bigger drills. Um, it's adorable. So, yeah, you just set it down and you can put your diamond painting pens right in it and it's a nice fun way to display your pens or you know anything okay i can hear you crunching over here you're still crunching on your candy aren't you yeah mm -hmm. i want to see these big drills okay okay <laughs> but anyway she does send the hardware and um the screwdriver for you to get this together and guys if i can do it anyone can but look at these beautiful big drills can you see can they see them that's gorgeous Ooh, i love these these raspberry ones i wasn't wanting to take all of the special drills out because we would be here for too long but the pearls we got pearls we've got these beautiful brown we have clear are they seeing this gold green orange Another orange, but yeah, I love these light orange, lots of oranges, uh, a clear silver. And then this is like kind of a dark amber color, which is gonna be so pretty on this squirrel. So those are my items that I got from Distracted by Diamonds. Robin, thank you so much for sending these out to me. Here are the heels. I'm trying to get everything out so you can see it without losing my drills for my squirrel. Let me get these put back in and I'll pull the other ones back up here. Put those in the squirrel so I don't lose them, which would be a trick of mine. <laughs> and the screwdriver. So again, when you get these, all the hardware comes to put them together. And they, I promise, they are not, they're not hard to, to put together. So I love these, love the coasters, so fun. But these are all great gift ideas that you can um, gift to people and um, it wouldn't take a lot of time. So if you are looking for some last minute gifts, uh, gift ideas to do, and don't forget the sticker. We've got the sticker uh, out in the dining room and I did get the cover plastic on it. It's absolutely fine. That was totally my mess up. But, um, and here's the beautiful sunflower tray, which oh, I love this design. So yeah, just some last minute um, gift ideas. Robin's shipping is extremely quick. Um, she doesn't waste any time shipping items to you. So you're not gonna wait you know, two weeks to get it or anything. Um, but I just thought these were some great gift ideas to share with you. Um, if you needed something for a hostess gift for a party or um, something to give someone um, that's a really nice gift that they would appreciate and use. And um, yeah, so we're off to the races for the holidays. I uh, hope this started you off right. I will be back with uh, another video and I will leave you with this, once again, I'd like to thank Robin at Distracted by Diamonds for sending these items to me. Um, I will definitely have a great time doing them. All right. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.